Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want, how to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to talk about the difference between reacting and responding quote that I'm sending out to those 6,000 folks on my quote list, which by the way, if you would like to receive one of my favorite quotes each week along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, or just Google Bill Crawford PhD. I'll come up on the first page. Hit the subscribe button, put your name, email address, and each week I will send you one of these quotes along with a short video. So this is one of mine. It says, we don't have to learn how to react. That happens automatically. We may, however, want to learn how to respond more purposefully in a way we would recommend to someone we love. So let's look at that and see how that can be helpful. It's the difference between reacting and responding. The idea of reacting is acting as we have in the past, in a way that almost is done without thought. You know, someone comes up back of us and, 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 and makes a loud noise, we react. Often maybe somebody says something to us that they've said in the past or somebody else has said in the past and we react. We react without thinking. Now, when that reaction is about keeping ourselves safe, you know, um, somebody's running at me with a gun, somebody's driving the wrong way of the freeway, then really reacting is a wonderful thing because it keeps us safe. And we don't have to learn that. That's part of the brain structure. For those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that we have these three parts to the brain. Lower part of the brain is called the brain stem. This is where our fight or flight responses are located. Upper 80% of the brain is called the neocortex. This is where we have access to our clarity, confidence, creativity, interpersonal skills, problem solving skills. Anything we do purposefully comes from this upper 80% of the brain. The part of the brain that determines whether we go down to that reactive brain or up to that more responsive, purposeful brain is called the limbic system. And its mission on the planet is to scan the environment for signs of danger. And it has a tendency to overinterpret anything negative as dangerous and throw us into the part of the brain that's designed to deal with danger. That's where we find ourselves reacting without thinking. When we are indeed in danger, that's perfect. But notice how few of the situations we find ourselves in on a regular basis are truly dangerous. They may be unpleasant. They may be things we're not crazy about, but they're not physically dangerous. So in those situations, we want to learn to respond. You know, react again is acting as we have in the past. Responding has the word sponsor as its core. What concept do we want to sponsor? What thought do we want to sponsor? What uh, emotion do we want to sponsor in others? What are we trying to accomplish here? Because that has this more purposeful way of doing and being. And if we were be, if we're willing to respond in a way we would recommend to someone we love, in a way that's congruent with our highest purpose, in a way that defines us as who and how we want to be defined, then that response can go a long way to us creating the life we want, becoming more influential in our life and the lives of others. It has us thinking about how we want to say something before we say it. We ask the question, how can I say this in a way that this person will hear as valuable? Is what they want and what I want congruent? Is there a way that that fits together? If we're wanting to be able to just think about how we want to be and who we want to be, and we want to go through life kind of being a person who sponsors a certain energy, a certain way of being, what does that look like? Who are we when we are coming from our best? I may have told you this in other videos. I encourage sometimes the clients that I'm working for and with to create a list of 20 qualities or characteristics of them at their best. And that gives them a lot to draw upon whenever they're wanting to respond or sponsor a certain way of being with their kids, with their significant other, with people in their workplace, with their friends, and life in general. So what I help people do is retrain, reprogram this scanner, processor, router part of the brain, the limbic system. So it's not always just scanning for danger. It's all also interpreting situations in a way that allow us to go to that upper 80% of the brain and respond in this more purposeful way. That's what my life from the top of the mind system is all about. So hey, 
If you would like me to come to your organization and teach those, everybody in there, to come from this upper 80% of the brain, so they're doing more responding versus reacting, this is what I do. All you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, and I would love to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. More clarity about what, it, what it's like to respond versus react. More confidence in your ability to do that. And more creativity in what that response looks like. More clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.